Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalever, in which we're using a special mod for the start of a new campaign, and for up through the entire campaign. The Time Machine mod, which right now we are currently led by Mr. or President Donald Trump in 1936, but we must choose a focus in which we shall hold elections. The return in 1936 added one more problem to our falling country. The only way to avoid a big civil war is to hold elections to preserve American stability, in which we are going down a very certain <clears throat> route. So, we will have the victory of Mr. Jojo Grandpa jo Biden. So, Joe Biden is the new president of the United States of America. Well, I guess that's it for the description, huh? So, with him, he becomes leader of the Democratic Party. He is a moderate politician, better consumer goods, a little more stability. We get new political advisors and generals and decisions when we select him and he becomes uh, president. So, the centrists will be in power. I get friendly centrists. Social liberals become friendly, less consumer goods. The Trumpists become hostile. We remove friendly Trumpists, in which a hostile Trumpist, less war support... Friendly Christian conservatives, social democrats don't care, greens don't care, so they all become indifferent. Cool. Uh, let's see, and it's almost ready to go. Let's go ahead and get ready. And off screen, I've already set everything else up off screen, so. The elections. November 3rd, 1936. Election day. Once every four years, America chooses who's going to lead them for the next term. Candidates Joe Biden and Donald Trump both have vastly different policies, but increasingly polarized America gives them around equal support. Well, I've already played as Donald Trump before in a previous campaign, just two episodes long, but Joe Biden, he is the best. We're going to choose Joe Biden, and let's see, we could reject boring policies, but I think for this campaign, let's keep it pretty steady for Mr. Joe Biden. Embrace centrism. Centrism is a perfect ideology. We must embrace it. So, I think just for the start of campaign for Joe Biden, we'll probably play as Joe Biden again eventually, but embracing centrism with a barbecue grill here. We replace unstable politics with political centrism, more political power, stability, war support, ideology, direct defense, and more daily democracy support. Just because I think it would be fitting as a second time through the uh, well campaign with this mod. Uh, Joe Biden wins the elections with the picture of what was probably the Wehrmacht. I love it. He will fix our country, and actually, who shall be our new general? Hillary Clinton, Kamala Harris, Bill Clinton, Al Gore, and Joe Biden is a field marshal. Well... Uh, I was kind of surprised that uh, Hillary Clinton doesn't have more attack than Kamala Harris, but then again, I'm not really surprised. Uh, I guess we'll go with Kamala Harris because she's cheaper, I guess. Yeah, promotion cost goes down. And Joe Biden leading the army, leading the armies, is kind of a hot take, maybe. He's cautious, he's an organizer, and he's part of the old guard, which makes perfect sense. So, And for now, let's go ahead and train. I've already set everything up off screen, like of all the Navy, all the army, where to use the vaccine. Oh, we got to do the vaccine stuff as well. Remilitarization of the Rhineland, worrying. Embrace and centrism now, in which we should also probably go ahead and do developing a vaccine. The coronavirus is destroying America. We must develop a vaccine to stop it or it will destroy our country. Uh, reconcilement policies. We get, okay, 100 manpower. Weekly manpower plus 100. More stability, which is not bad. Support social liberalism, so you get more political power, less consumer goods, and you get more stability. That actually isn't too bad. How much political power are we getting right now? 0.93. Not super great. Prospect for resources we can look at later. Political actions we can look at for later. Uh, we got electronic mechanical engineering. Let's grab some mechanical computing. And as you, you can see from the technology, what we're working on right now, pretty much tried and true standard stuff. Uh, we're working out on a lot of outdated equipment, mostly just ships. I've already pretty much organized all the ships to do well, do good, whatever. We don't want to be bothered with ships. We got some subs. Actually, who should. Oh, John Brown's leading the other fleet. Alexander Jones is an Ironside expert. Why not? And another. Oh, that are nice. Very cool. And after developing a vaccine... Well, when I played Donald Trump, I went with Destroy the Virus, which is probably a pretty good idea. But let's go with Protect the Economy, just because it's 50% more. And I want something a little bit different. And Joe Biden, now the time is recording, we don't know what he's going to do. But we might end up in a war, maybe, maybe not. We can't waste all of our resources dealing with the coronavirus. We must protect the economy so people don't starve and use some of our resources to make the vaccine. So that's something a little different from when I played as Donald Trump, in which as soon as this is taken, I will shift over production to be, make much, much more military factories for now. And I think actually... Ooh, oh, we can't get Mike Pence. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Hillary Clinton, Princess of Terror. <laughs> oh, man. Someone's going to get assassinated, aren't they? Ooh, stability for Joe Biden the centrist. Not bad. Bernie Sanders, of course. Sonia Sotomayor. Actually, that's not too bad. we got to make the uh, Latinos friendly to us then. Because I like the political power. Jill Stein, of course. Uh, Spike Cohen, Libertarians. Jeb Bush, Amy Baird, of course. We can't choose that stuff. Uh, Dick Cheney, Al Gore. He's a sub-specialist. Well, I think for now. That's, oh, we can't. We need more war support to do this. So I would like to do that. Uh, what else do we have down here? Actually, let's do the research first. 
Actually, I usually go to disperse. Let's go with concentrate. Let's concentrate our in on it industry in this one. Uh, let's see. Let's probably go buy more vaccines. Let's go and spend political power doing this stuff. Mm, you know what? I might just choose support social liberalism just to get sli slightly more consumer goods, slightly more political power, and get more stability overall. So that's actually not too bad. Let's choose that one. I don't mind getting more stability, even though we need to raise up our war support. Let's see. Antifa is hostile to Joe Biden. Industrial protection or production. Black community is hostile to Joe Biden. And Trumpists are hostile and the, these guys don't care. I suppose these two as well. So, ah, protect the economy. Very good. And secure our industry for more military factories, support research centers, new universities. Let's go ahead and do crush Antifa. Collaborate with Antifa. Hmm. You know what? When I play as Joe Biden again and reject boring policies, I will probably do collaborate with Antifa. So let's crush Antifa right now and see what happens. Antifa is a really dangerous organization. Their members destroy private properties and their fight is pointless. We must crush them. Good for you, Joe Biden. Good for you. We have five vaccines, a royal wedding in Brazil. Also, we are on a historical, as that's why we saw a wedding down in Brazil. We are on a historical. And let's see, can we spend the vaccines? Yes. We're, uh, Joe Biden's from Delaware, I think. So, well, oh, okay. Nope. Maryland is too powerful here. I don't like this. Maryland is too powerful. We need to get rid of Maryland and split it up. Cool. Actually, this makes a lot more sense. Joe Biden is a field marshal and Kamala Harris is the first general. General us? General? Uh, whatever it is. Keep trading until we have no more fuel. You guys do. There you go. Cool. And uh, I'm going to keep my more stuff. The UK wants to limit naval rearmament. Our recent efforts to build a larger fleet propelled us among the ranks of the major naval powers. The UK clearly feels threatened by our expanded fleet and has sent a delegation to a capital to negotiate a mutual arms limitation treaty. This treaty would be modeled on the second London Naval Treaty and restrict the size of our capital ships as well as limit our overall fleet size and capital ships to not exceed the fleet of the UK. Um, I really don't like that, but these terms are acceptable to make us a little different from when I played as Donald Trump and his, uh, what was this, uh, other campaign. When I played as Donald Trump, we went with crush a protest, appeal to black conservatives, but we'll do a supremacy route eventually as well. Sometime. I'm not sure when. Sometime, though. I promise that. Let's see. Joe Biden. We'll probably stick with carriers, maybe? Uh, let's get some of the sonar stuff. I like doing that little, uh, extra additions you can throw on your ships, which is kind of important sometimes. Go and do that, too. Lots and lots of naval doctrine stuff. We might go to war with J the Japanese eventually, too. I don't know. But the time machine, deep in the Floridian Everglade, a mystery has emerged. Famous scientist and explorer Greg Peng accidentally came across what seemed to be a time machine in the middle of a swamp. The skirt was quickly brought to a research laboratory where scientists and professors have been studying it. They've asked the U.S. government for help funding to try to figure out more about this strange machine. We should investigate this? We have bigger problems. I don't want to be bothered with the time machine. Because last time I chose that, when I played as Donald Trump, we actually Teddy Roosevelt come back and basically become president himself, so... Nah. Nah, don't bother with it. It's okay. Crush Antifa. And then we shall go with... Appease the black community. Ooh. Crush the nationalists. A centrist agenda. Support Latinos. I want to support the Latinos. Let's appease the black community first. The black community has suffered a lot during Trump administration. We must support, support and appease them so we can stabilize our country. And black shirts organized in the UK. Okay, then. Let's see if they manage a civil, civil war. And crush Antifa. And in which we get basically plus 50% industrial production. Cool. And maybe it, maybe it reintegrated Canada in this campaign. I don't know. We'll see what happens. 0.73. We could use more stability. But once this is gone, support social liberalism. Actually, oh, even with that, we currently have plus 5% political power. That's not very good now, is it? We do have slightly better consumer goods. Oh, wait. Hold on. We have this thing, too. Oh, that's crap. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and build up some more military factories. Uh, let's see. 50%. 60%. 40, 40, 40, 50, 50, there you go. For now. Oh, that's going to take a while to do. So, we might as well use it while we have it, right? Right. Are you guys docked? There you go. Keep going. Keep on going. We're going to have a good old time. Vaccine campaign. Oh, yeah, we got vaccines. Uh, let's see. We're going to do the areas such where the very large cities like New Jersey, probably New York, probably Northeast, probably the coasts on both sides of the country first. And, uh, oh, they go Spain. I can release more war support, though. We'll do California, too. This way we'll get more factories, get more population, because once we, because when we uh, have this virus here, we have less max factories in the state, less recruitable population, less available resources, less construction speed. Really not good stuff. Really, really not good stuff. All right, y'all have already trained for the most part, which is not bad. Uh, let's split you up down in half again. And we shall have Hillary Clinton next. Actually, I'm going to split these up into five armies already, because just because we can. So, let's do that. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll convert everyone pretty much to one 
I was gonna say ideology, but one little group here. There, that's that's good enough. All right, three right there. Uh, go on the border with Mexico, maybe. Just because we can. We're not gonna build a wall, because that wouldn't make sense with Joe Biden here. Maybe, probably not. Uh, he's a logistics wizard. Ah, Joe Biden, logistics wizard. And defensive, offensive. Well, we might go to war. Actually, let's go throw a planner. And increase production. Let's let's wait to buy more vaccines. That'd be nice. And let's do Florida. No, we'll do Oregon because we can. Idaho. And since we got it, might as well, right? 0.95. Not bad. Anything else around here? Crush the riots. Well, I guess we don't have riots right now. Trump is our oh, hostile as well as a black community, but we're working on that. And which we shall support the Latinos. The Latinos are an important minority in our country. We must support them to gain their support. Which is probably a good thing. Active sonar. It is still 1936. Let's grab some radio as well as some of this. Death charge throwers. Appease a black community. And Turkey does their stuff. And we shall support the Latino community now. And get more political power too. In the process. 16%. Not bad. Not great. And let's see. Hillary Clinton will be standing next to Bill Clinton. And after next Bill Clinton, we'll have Al Gore, who is politically connected. But now we need someone else. I wish... I hope we get someone else. Is this all we have for, the, like, the more Democratic side? Or the Democrat side? Um... Hmm. I guess it makes sense. I'm not really sure who else they throw in there. Maybe Tim Kaine? Could Tim Kaine become a general? Maybe? I'm just thinking about the VP from Hillary Clinton in 2016, but... Eh, I don't know. Actually, just select all of these guys. There you go. There you go. Train, train, train. And let's buy some more vaccines. Oh, befriend the... Oh, no. Let's befriend the black community. Get more population. Get new advisors, generals, and decisions. Okay, let's try that one. As much as I want to get more vaccines... We have four vaccines right now. Uh, befriend the black community is what we, I want to do. And maybe the Latino community, too. You both get 10% more recruitable population factor, which is not too bad. Let's see what else. Naval stuff. Smoke generators, because we can. As well as light tanks. Actually, maybe heavy tanks. I usually go light tanks. Let's go with heavy tanks this time. Let's try that one out. And we shall crush the nationalists. Donald Trump is a pain in the booty. He lost the elections, however. He started a campaign against our president, trying to take him over or take him our by force. We must crush him and his supporters to get more political power. Alrighty. And yeah, we wanted Sonia Sotomayor, so we want that pee pee. That Latino pee pee. There we go. Oh, that hurts our political power game. That's fine, whatever. Vaccines, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Depth charge throwers are nice. Let's go ahead. We might do battleships eventually as well. Let's make sure our detonators are actually really good. Since we have so much naval XP, I'm really focusing on that stuff because America just has so much fuel and I love it. So much oil. We need more oil. Uh, we have probably, we're dem democracy, so we can't send volunteers. We're not allowed to even send them, so that sucks. I mean, uh, also let you know, I haven't played this off screen yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. But let's do the Northeast next. And like I said, it's on historical. A historical. We are on A historical. And we're using three mods. Time Machine USA. The State Transfer Tool mod. As well as Player Little Pizza Conference. It's only three mods for now. And then maybe we'll befriend the black community. But I think we'll probably grab some more vaccines. Actually, this is two months. Ooh, Crush the Nationalists. Very nice. In which we shall also have a centrist agenda. We must secure our centrist agenda. More political power. Actually, what are our uh, things over here? National Spirit. Coronavirus. Not looking good. We also have a paralyzed economy. Which is not very good. We have riots still, which obviously are not very good. As well as political centrism. We actually lose political power. Get more daily democracy support. And more war support. Protect the economy. Where we build military factories. And the London Naval Treaty Signature Safarinos. Crush the Trumpists. Well, less war support doesn't help us. Uh, well, yeah, we can do more. Let's, let's go do that one first. Just because we could use some more war support. Hey, factories. Nice. We actually have factories. Let's buy more guns. Guns are nice. This is America. Uh, let's see what happens with that stuff. Anything else? Anything else that we could throw on our ships that require... That's way too ahead of time. So, I'll keep one on naval doctrine at all times, probably, as long as we have enough naval XP. So, I think that'd be pretty good for us. Protect the economy is gone. So, okay, military factories, you're done. I'm not even going to bother with you anymore. There you go. You can finish this, this group up. That's fine with me. Uh, so, yeah, we were limited. So, boom, boom, boom. Nope. Mm, Wichita, it says defensive, but it's actually a capital ship, so... Hmm. I almost never use... You know, I'm going to use heavy cruisers in this campaign. Let's try using heavy cruisers. I'm gonna, I don't want to see you either. We're going to try it. Early cruiser hole. 
Let's see. Destroyers, not bad. Not bad. In the meantime, destroyer t submarine twos are not bad. Let's make as many of these light cruisers as possible because, well, first of all, we're limited, so we can only do so much. But more importantly, we have already armor three. Okay. Uh, I want to make sure that we can like destroy as many enemy planes to protect our ships as much as possible. So instead of this, I'm actually going to throw an anti-sub stuff, so that would actually be very helpful. So that's good. We'll make a lot of these ships, because we have quite a few capital ships already. So I really want to protect them as much as possible. Ooh, look at that, no more ships. Because this, well, Lexington isn't great, don't get me wrong. It's, it's, well, bad words. What's the point of having this thing if it's garbage? I'm, you know what? That's so garbage. Why would I even want that? Oh, what are you breaking my heart for what reason, man? Why would we want to make such garbage? Uh, don't do that. Oh, Bulgarian government supports IMRO. Mississippi. There you go. We just literally make another... Yeah, we did. Nice. Actually, can we just do it like this? American Theater 1, Battleships Force, Cruiser Force. So there's the subs. Um, Let's see. Battle Force, United States Fleets 1. Can I just throw them on there? American Theater, Battleships, Battle Force. I don't like this. Is there a way for me to just throw them on there? I don't care about the reserve fleet. Like, why can't it just be like the normal, like, how the army does it? Just throw them into a certain, not theater, but Battle Force, you know, fleet. Just to throw them in there. I don't like that. I don't know why that's still not in the game. Maybe it is. I, I don't know. But, um, this is why I always leave it the way it is for now. Just do it on auto. Just to deploy somewhere, like there. It's like South Carolina or something. I really wish that you could just throw them into, like, just the battle fleet. Force. The battle force. Why not? Why can't we just throw them in that fleet? I don't care where they go. Just wherever they, you know, make the ships equal. Alright, where are we going to inject other people with goods? Uh, probably up here, New York State. I also want to do that too. But I might wait to get some more political power first against so so my Sotomayor. So. After the centrist approach, oh, we'll get peace at home. Doesn't that have, oh, we have riots. How do we deal with riots? Magnet, de magnet detonator. Happy 1937, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Uh, crush the riots. There isn't any... Oh, we got to get rid of hostile groups. So we got to get rid of the Trumpets, which will be done soon enough. So that's fine. And, oh yeah. Concentrated industry. Not bad. Not bad. And in five days, we will be able to do so. And the Latinos are friendly. Support immigration. Not bad. Not bad. There you go. And crush the riots. Very good. Reconcilement policies. The centers of agenda and peace at home. We finally stabilize our country. No more riots. No more protests. Everyone is happy and our country is at peace. Oh, so we got, oh, social liberals like us, of course, stability for the centrists. Latinos are friendly. Not bad. Not bad. So we got these two guys going along. Um, I think it's time to, actually, that's not too bad. There's no armor on there, which really is, is kind of disappointing, but that's okay. Anything else? Looks good. Let's throw them on. Oh, crap. Now we can't. God dang it. Really? Is that really what we have to do here? I hate the naval rearmament. Joe Biden, why? Why did you limit us, Joe Biden? Let's help the... Not the black shirts. Cuba. We love Cuba. And get some more rubber, too. Uh, Brazil. There we go. Keep building ourselves up. That'll be great. Anything else here? Well, since we did that, we could befriend the black community, but I'm not going to. Because I want this woman. That'll be nice. Ah, political centrism. Very nice. Lenin and naval treaty signatory. And paralyzed economy, Soviet and coronavirus pandemic. How's the world looking? Actually, they remilitarized the Rhineland, so we're not going to see a different type of Germany, which kind of sucks. Well, oh uh, yeah, with his mod. Yeah, I remember now. We're going to get a certain leader, probably. Well, maybe, maybe not. Since this is on a historical Saudi Arabia with the smiling man, the Polish Romanian alliance. Let's hope it pays off. We have Imam Yahya, Yahya, Oman, Iraq, led by Ooh, Ghazi the first. China, of course. We've got Hirohito. We got a lot of naval XP too. My goodness, it takes so long to get more political power. Why? So after this, improve welfare standards, consumer goods for 250 days. Uh, we'll look at that real quick again. That's a little bit ahead of time. It is 37. Is there anything else we can really grab? Let's grab some of this. That's kind of nice. Uh, improve welfare. Friendly social democrats to get. Oh, we befriend the social democrats. Less political advisor costs. I like that. Dealing with the libertarians. Prepare intervention, of course. Neocons become friendly. 
Green reforms. That's not terrible. Not great, but not bad. We get more research speed. I think it's good to get some political advisor cost goes down. So probably do improving welfare standards, which will give us more home support. Oh. And collaborate with moderate conservatives. Secure popular support. Prepare intervention, which we will probably join the allies, because that's pretty much the only way we can go. So it is what it is. Oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. And which we'll probably I want to take out Jap the Japanese first. I don't know why, I just I just wanted to get rid of the Japanese. But let's do improve welfare standards for now. And we're getting closer. I think I'll see you in just a little bit. Well, it's time to have improved welfare standards. And now we must choose what should we do next? Green reforms? Maybe dealing with libertarians. That's 35 days. Preparing your intervention? You know, we might just have to do this one because we love neocons here. There are a lot of wars in this world. We must prepare armed to intervene in any war and start sending some volunteers over. Also, it should be noted that Mexico has fallen into civil war. The Mexicans are killing each other, which is, wow. Satrino Sedelio versus Lazardo Cadenas. Cool. I know a girl name, uh, last name before. Cardenas. And, of course, Spain has erupted into Spanish Battle Royale, so kind of cool. Improved machine tools are very nice. Uh, over here, ooh, what do we want? Anything around here? Uh, infantry? Oh, I'll grab some of this stuff. We could probably get some armored cards as well. <sighs> Neocons. They give you 2.5% more population. I love it. And interventionism grabs you plus three max volunteer force divisions. Uh, divisions required for sending volunteers minus 100%. And military factory construction speed plus 10%. Not bad. And also, right now, we do have... Oh, there goes Sia Reich. Let's grab this. And... Befriend the black community? That might be good. Reconcilement policies, support social liberalism, welfare. Latinos are friendly. Let's grow Befriend the black community. And then maybe we'll grab some more increased production. We've got eight vaccines. Renew the Roman protocols. Perhaps many good things can come out of this. So, I think we've already done Pennsylvania for the vaccines. Uh, let's see. I'm going to reward the states that voted for Joe Biden. So, Arizona, New Mexico. Uh, who else voted for them? I think it was Colorado, too, if I remember correctly. Oh, and Washington, of course. Uh, is that it? I can't remember. Virginia. Virginia. We got... Uh, that includes West Virginia, though, too. So, uh, go ahead and do that one, too. We might as well. Right? 30 days, 5 days. We got 1 vaccine. So how many do we need for Virginia? 4? Wow. And carry task forces. Cool. Let's grab the floating airfield because I want to get through the naval doctrine as fast as possible to have the biggest, greatest Navy ever. And, oh, hi. I was wondering if she was going to pop up for Joe Biden. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She's a mountaineer. You know why is she a mountaineer? Like, it may, might make more sense if she was like an urban, was it urban fighter? What do they call it? Urban, urban assault specialist. That might, that make more, that might make more sense if she was an urban assault specialist. Maybe, maybe not. But whatever. Join the odds. We gotta get rid of the coronavirus before we can do that. Green reforms. I like that research speed. I don't like that consumer goods. So let's go with dealing with libertarians, just because it's pretty quick. Nobody likes libertarians, however, they can be useful. Very nice. And support immigration. Let's go. Oh, while well, we're doing that already. Reduce the effects of the pandemic would be nice. Use the factories. We can't, of course, we can't do that one, so goodbye. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, ah, Virginia. Good. Very good. Oh. Hey, these people kind of like us. Denmark is gone already. Holy crap. That's really fast. Ice and Jacobs control of foreign affairs. And war preparation. Support social liberalism. That's actually not too bad, but that's 100 political power, too. And I think up next, we actually... I'm going to go to partial mobilization next. That should be kind of good. All right. And it's the leader who I think it is. It is PewDiePie once again back here having a good time in Svea Reich. And there goes the Spanish Commune. And they're the Axis. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Once again. Well, so much for the Commune down there over in Barcelona. Goodbye, Commune. And she falls ill. Time for healthcare? Oh, they, man, they're going fast. Going to war with Denmark. Hold on. They must have a unique focus here or something. But let's do ours first. Collaborate with moderate conservatives, might as well. If we collaborate with some moderate conservatives, we will get more support. And more political power, which is nice. But friendly libertarians, I guess we might as well. We get more construction speed, which is nice. Uh, more conscription, stability, consumer goods, political advisory costs, recruitable population. The black community will be like, friendly with us, too. Do, do they have any... They do not have a unique focus tree, but they probably have a lot of decisions that force them to go to war with other people, which is totally okay with us. Uh, up next, get some better fighters. We could use better carrier fighters, since we're using interwar carrier fighters currently, which is not ideal. I'm still building up some military factories as well. And what are we missing? 
some stuff here. Not bad. And here we are at, in which we can now befriend the Christian conservatives. We might as well get 0.15 more political power. And let us continue down this way with green reforms. Why not? We should we should prepare some green reforms, which will appease some people. Maybe not a lot of people, but some people, in which we will probably buy more vaccines next. 1.29 is not bad. I've already done gone ahead and done Georgia. And I think we'll probably end up doing Michigan next. Maybe Wisconsin and Minnesota, probably. So, let's see. Yes, yeah, so this is looking really nice. They're friendly. They're friendly. How much does it cost now to get more people? 127. Huh, I thought it would be 135. Oh, we can get Jeb Bush. Oh, it's because the neocons are friendly. Not bad. Let's grab some excavation. Even more excavation, which would be very, very nice. Hey, 40%. Not bad. World tension does help it, but we have pride of the fleet and political centrism. So, it helps out. And Michigan, oh, Michigan and Georgia are done. Well, oh, let's see. Support black neighborhoods. Support immigration. Welfare policies, which is okay. 10% political power. And get 10% stability when you're done with that. That's not bad. Social liberalism is like half of that. Well, 30% stability versus 10%. 5%. Wait, why would you support social liberalism? I mean, it gets you less consumer goods. This actually hurts your consumer goods, but that's not bad. Six distance from the Commonwealth. Floating airfield is not bad. Let's grab some mass strikes. That should be kind of fun. Hopefully we got some drones so we can mass strike a lot of people. Mm, yeah, I get army XP. Oh, that's okay for 50 days. That's not really great. Uh, yeah, it's just not great. Oh, let's go and do this as well. Now I'm gonna make these guys 20 combat with, with with guns, which I think will be okay. And we are going with heavy tanks, so that should be a little bit fun. And actually, we got enough guns for that. We need some more support equipment though, huh? All right, well, we got enough guns for now. Let's do that. And we'll keep making more divisions. Uh, actually, four is probably not going to be enough. Let's go with ten. So now we're out of guns. <laughs> which isn't great, but whatever. Let's go to three. Let's go to three more. Artillery is looking okay. And let's go buy more uh, vaccines. No, we can't. Oh, uh, Wisconsin. And increase production. And maybe we'll do some of this, too. Once we get there. Oh, mass. Buy more vaccines. Don't mind if we do. Italy claims, okay, it's 1938, happy 1938. Italy's just gone to war with Greece, who they might join the Allies, so we'll see what happens. Italy abandons the naval treaty. Benito Mussolini today announced that Italy would no longer be able to uh, consider herself bound by the naval treaty she had signed. The world situation, he said, has made the choice inevitable. Italy's apparently received reliable reports that several neighboring countries have begun aggressive naval expansion programs that threaten legitimate Italian interests in the area. The Italian Admiralty has refused to comment on rumors that several ships currently under construction were already planned without treaty restrictions in mind. We should review our own participation in the treaty. Followed with secure popular support. And eh, we might as well. We need more popular support to stabilize the country and secure our victory in the 1940 elections, which are just two years away. Uh, I'll go do Florida because we can. We're starting to, run out, starting to run out of other areas to select. Ooh, support green industries. You get When you do it, you lose consumer goods factories and political power, but you get some more stability and you get a civilian factory, which isn't terrible. It's only 50 political power, so that's not too bad. And Mexico's on fire. Can we actually send volunteers to Mexico now? No, we're still not allowed, even though we have neocons. And we're supporting their independence. Actually, we're not supporting their independence. Actually, we should be able to go to war with them then, right? <laughs> Black cruisers are very nice. Nice little things to have. Very good, very good. And we're still trying to build up our industry as well. Always trying to build up our industry. Always, 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 always. And we are on export focus. We should probably go with free trade, because we're Joe Biden, right? Maybe a little more free trade there, which would make maybe a little bit more sense. Uh, okay, so we do anything else here? No more vaccines? Come on, I want to inject people with good stuff. I'll do Louisiana next, because we can. Traditionalist propaganda, more weekly stability, which doesn't really mean too much to me. Um, what else do we want to do? Oh, there goes Portugal. Goodbye, Portugal. Have fun. And secure popular support. Nicaraguan Revolution. So we're pretty much locked behind whatever we have. We can join the Allies. Uh, let's secure our industry or let's support research centers. The scientifics are our greatest allies in the pandemic. We need their help and knowledge to stop the virus. Improving welfare standards is done. All right. Uh, anything else here? Well, maybe we should. Oh, we can actually get traditionalist women as well now. More unaligned support. Daily political power gain is not bad. Daily compliance is really, really good. Jeb Bush, but I chose him. Oh, daily communism support. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's grab Jill Stein. Let's try something a little different. Spike Cohen. Isn't his name after... Wasn't he named after, like, My Little Pony or something? That's actually not too bad. I'm going to go grab Jill Stein, because that makes a little bit more sense. And then we'll probably... Oh, oh God. I don't know if Dick Cheney would actually work in a Biden administration. Maybe he would. At the time of this recording, I don't know. Al Gore, though. I think it makes a little bit more sense to go for Al Gore, but... Because I already chose Dick Cheney once. I'm really surprised John Bolton's not in here. A little surprised, I should say. 
Uh, do we have anything else around here? We're doing really well in this other stuff. And buy more vaccines. Yep, buy more vaccines. Uh, let's see. North Carolina. Okay, let's do them. Uh, we still did all this. Uh, we can do... Uh, what was that? Utah? Mine as well. I'm going to save one state for last. Just because we can. Empire, British Empire banned the Naval Treaty. Oswald Mosley. Well, there goes Australia. Announced today that the British Empire would no longer considered itself bound by the Naval Treaty she had signed herself. The world of situation, he said, would have made the choice inevitable. Uh, the British Empire has apparently received reliable reports that several neighboring countries have begun aggressive naval expansion programs that threaten legitimate British interests in the area. The British Admiralty has refused to comment on rumors that several ships currently under construction were already planned without treaty restrictions in mind. All right, cool. Same thing that the Italians did, and Naval Treaty obligated. With the outbreak of war, the Romanian government has officially informed the rest of the signatories of the London Naval Treaty that, under Article 24, it considers the restrictions on the Naval Treaty to be no longer in their national interest. The Romanian ambassador has therefore announced that the Naval Treaty will be suspended for the duration of the war. Whether the restrictions will return into force after the war is over remains to be seen, but for the time being, we should consider ourselves no longer bound by the treaty obligations when it comes to designing and building ships. It was a noble attempt at safeguarding peace, but it failed, much like a lot of other things. All right, where are we going to stick our vaccines into? Oh, the yeah. escalator clause invoked. And there goes South Africa. Good luck, South Africa. Good luck. Oh, everyone likes us. Everyone loves Joe Biden. The Greens, Latinos, the black community, the social democrats, social liberals, centrists, libertarians, neocons, Christian conservatives, mass strikes. Let's go with floating fortresses because those, those are giant pieces of fun material. And use the factories. Oh, that's not bad. But we had to just completely destroy the virus first. Wait. Complete a focus. Destroy the virus. Oh, that's the other one we could have chosen, probably. Excavation is not bad. Let's grab some more research speed, if we don't mind. New Zealand declares independence. Everyone is... Well, everything's falling apart. Canada declares independence. Can I take them out, then? I think that'll be kind of fun. Let's do one more focus before we end the episode. Dakotas. Uh... Well, you know what? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think is the most the best one here to choose in terms for political situation? The traditionalist propaganda, war preparations, support private property, reconcilement policies, social liberal social liberalism, welfare policies, support green industries, immigration, or black neighborhoods. Let me know which one I should take more often in the comments below. In which I'm literally just waiting to get some more things here. I want to stick people with needles. Let's do Illinois. How about Illinois? Oh, and one more focus, of course. To do. Oh, the entrance of Austria, and there's Pink Canada. That is a little disgusting. I'll do these guys first, because we can. And let's end the episode early on with the American Army. We have it to have improve our army. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's first episode as we are playing as Joe Biden. Now, as you can tell, there's probably not a whole lot here to play as Joe Biden with his normal centrist route, except for joining the Allies. But regardless, hope you enjoyed the episode regardless. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will probably get entangled into another war as the fascist Spanish win probably this war too. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.